Okay, here's the bin. It's pretty full. So, get the bin ready. So it feels like an okay load, like it's got weight. It doesn't feel light. Got to be at least 3,000, over 3,000. And I might take my other uh, materials too, so maybe a little box of copper. Okay, just stand by here and I'll show you. I'll load it up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take. We got this here, number one. So this one's 58 pounds, the whole tub itself. 58. Nine point nine point six, so nine and a half pounds. Take away the pail after. <clears throat> okay. So I'm gonna take just to see what to pay. This is number two, anyways. This all looks the same. Okay, so let me load. So that's all I'm taking here. 58, so say 55, 55 and 7. So we'll see. If you just low balls, then you know, I'll take it home. I don't care. Part of doing business. Okay. Car here on the highway, his wheel fell off, back wheel. Fell off, wrecked his back spoiler and everything. I don't know where the wheel is. You just never know with uh, fancy, like probably 22 inch rims on there. So, not lug, lug nuts aren't tight properly. That's what happens. Okay, put diesel on here. We're off to the scrapyard. Uh, diesel is 129 here, and a liter, one liter. So, 130 a liter. So, American gallon is almost four liters. So, do the math there, it's pretty expensive. Okay, let's uh, get started here. Okay, here's uh, Fraser River here. Just near my house here. It's going over the Patello Bridge right now. Give you a little scenery for, for now. So a pretty narrow bridge, but they're replacing the bridge. They're going to put another bridge on the side here and tear this down after. Probably in a couple of years, two, three years, whatever it takes. Load seems uh, pretty heavy, it doesn't seem light. It's got weight, so uh, I'm thinking it's got to be at least over 3,000 pounds, 3,500 pounds probably. That's what I'm thinking, it seems to be fairly heavy, so. Okay, so the bridges somehow they're taking those houses out also. It'll be like a turnaround here, somewhere where those houses are. And the bridge will come. The new foundations will end up being somewhere over here. Right here, they're already excavating. But there's a tunnel in here. The SkyTrain tunnel here. The SkyTrain goes through here. So they're going to be excavating somewhere here. There was a billboard sign here. Like that one. And they took it down and they moved it up this way. You see over here. Like I'm not... 
going super fast, but uh, I can tell it's heavy, heavy enough. That's where they're putting a relocated sign right here. I just moved it over because they're gonna be excavating there for the new bridge, okay? Okay, let's turn this off here. Okay, came back from Scrapyard, uh, worked out good. I went in there and he gave me 180 and I said, hey man, uh, no, I got the email here, it's 200 a ton. Okay, so they, they corrected that because I guess I'm just new to the system right now. So anyways, set up an account, they pay by check, they don't deal with cash. You don't have the, the run around like the other yard where they got a million people in there with you know two, three pounds and nothing. Nope, they deal with proper weights, big companies, big time buyer. They're just like, if you ever watch E-Way Spen when he does his scrap selling, it's the same system. They, they, you know, they take large quantities of stuff, they give it a, give you a check. They don't piss around with cash where the, you know, undesirables go there sometimes and you know who knows they want a fast buck no they deal with companies okay so i had uh 10 i had uh 3380 pounds of tin which is probably right you know but you know the load wasn't that great to be honest it wasn't heavy stuff in there so maybe the other yard could have been 2900 or 3000 i i don't personally know so anyways result is 3380 pounds there's no actual a scale reading you can see when you go there like some yards you can see the numbers they don't show you nothing there so i had 56 pounds of number two copper 380 a pound they gave me i said you know what give me dealer price otherwise i'm going to take the other yard i don't i want i would deal with one person only and i got lots of people i can bring here that are that are decent people right so that the, the copper that you've seen it was kind of like bright and shiny but it was number one it had a corrosion but anyways they paid 410 for that so at eight pounds of that, at four ten, and that came out to thirty-two dollars and eighty. Then I had uh, fifty-six pounds of transformers, all that kind of stuff mixed up in there. That was three eighty a pound, which the other place was only going to be paying me three sixty-five. They used to pay three seventy-five, so he paid three eighty. He went right up there, gave me the best price possible, no pissing around, if you know what I mean. So two hundred twelve eighty. So 338 was that load of tin. If I went to the other yard, it would have been like about 220. See the difference? $120 difference in price, just like that. That, for me to come another 15 minutes or 20 minutes driving and spend a little bit of, you know, maybe 15, 20 dollars in gas at the most, I'm coming to Richmond anyways because I got inspection in Richmond. So, so what? I make $100 more, you know, counting my fuel to come here. So 583.60 total. Check is right here, right there. Okay guys, super happy. Um, looks like uh, this is my yard from now on. Uh, they, they're picky about uh, fridges. They don't really want fridges. They'll take the fridge if it has no compressor. You know, so I've found lots before, no compressors and stuff. You know, I'll take what I can here. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. You know, maybe I have to sell some of the stuff elsewhere, you know, some things, but. Uh, and little propane tanks, they don't really want propane tanks at all, he said. Um, unless the propane valve is off completely and those small propane ones the green ones you know you can't really do much of those so may have to have may have to deal with the other yard a little bit for some of the other stuff but because either way I still like to clean up the streets regardless of the price is lower I can still get some value for my time right okay guys I uh, gotta go to this inspection if there's something interesting there I may do a video we'll see stay tuned